hours to go till the uh, first and what's expected to be a series of televised hearings all about what led up to last January's deadly insurrection down at the U.S. Capitol. Uh, that congressional committee has interviewed more than a thousand of people who were involved in the insurrection. And tonight it's going to start taking much of that evidence straight to the public. And this one's all about getting answers as to exactly what led up to that accident, that violent accident and attack at former at the Capitol and former President Donald Trump's unprecedented efforts to overturn his election defeat. Tonight, the committee set to present its findings to the public. The panel is expected to bring in a number of live witnesses as it recounts Trump's efforts to pressure state officials, members of Congress and his own vice president to reject President Joe Biden's victory. They'll also interview a British filmmaker who recorded members of the far right Proud Boys as they stormed the Capitol and a Capitol Police officer who was seriously injured in the attack. Now, most of the witnesses sat for voluntary interviews, but the panel has issued more than 100 subpoenas. Now, joining us here live this morning to dive deeper into what we can expect to come from the hearing tonight is Dr. Joe Morris from Mercyhurst University's Political Science Department. And Joe, we appreciate you sticking around and talking to us a little bit more about this one. Let's talk about what the, uh, that committee is expected to lay out as far as evidence goes. Against uh, President Trump, they're trying to draw a line between uh, the president, his words, some of his actions leading up to January 6th, and the violence that occurred that day. Yeah, well, we're not 100% sure exactly what they're going to present, but we do know that it's in all likelihood going to be highly choreographed. This won't look very similar to uh, the congressional hearings that occur day, on a daily basis in Congress. Instead, it'll be, it'll be something that's really made for the public, made for consumption on television. Uh, I think uh, in that regard, it's going to be a, a very interesting uh, hearing. And Joe, just talk about why people should tune in tonight and the historicness of the event on primetime live tonight. Sure. Th there are moments in our history where Congress can play a really important role in helping us figure out what happened. Uh, Congress can't prosecute anybody. Uh, their, their hands are really tied in terms of what they can do if they find wrongdoing. But what they can do really well is present this to the public. And if they do that effectively, it gives us a chance to really make good decisions down the road. I mean, after all, we're dealing with an event that threaten the very existence of democracy. Mm -hmm. And I think Congress can do a, a great deal to shine some light on what happened leading up to this. We mentioned we're going to be hearing from uh, that uh, Capitol Police officer. We're going to be hearing from that British uh, filmmaker. We're also expecting uh, uh, to hear uh, some of the evidence connecting uh, Ivanka Trump, uh, Jared Kushner, uh, and what they were thinking about uh, on January 6th. So how could potentially some of uh, the Trump inner circle uh, play a role in tonight's hearing? Yeah, it, it certainly sounds that way. Uh, the uh, com committee's been very active trying to get a hold of these people that were near the president at the time. Uh, January, the events of January 6th were unfolding. So I think we're likely to see that probably tonight. And if not, we have hearings, at least one more hearing scheduled for June. But in all likelihood, throughout June, there's going to be additional public hearings. So I think we're likely to see that play a very important role, if not tonight, in the coming uh, hearings. Gotcha. All right. Dr. Joe Morris from Mercy Rose University's Political Science Department. Joe, we, of course, appreciate you sharing your experience. Absolutely. We know Joe's going to be tuned in like much of America tonight. And Joe uh, has uh, graciously agreed to come back tomorrow morning and kind of break down uh, what we're going to see tonight at those hearings. Again, all starting at 8 o'clock this evening. Joe, thanks for stopping by this morning.